Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, behind me you see a 2018 Toyota Corolla LE. Okay, here's a cold start of a 2019 Corolla LE. sure ain't no Hellcat, that's for sure. This car's got a pretty aggressive front end. I wonder what the horn sounds like. That's kind of pathetic. All right, driving the 2019 Toyota Corolla LE. Uh, first impression is that it's, it's pretty quiet. Easy to drive a little car. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail. I'm just going to talk about specific things that I find interesting about this car. If you want to find all the details about a test drive on this car, you can look elsewhere. I'm just going to go over a few little things that I've noticed about this car, which might be of interest to um, the viewers. And right away, I like this car because you know it's got heated seats. It's a little economy car. You can probably get in Canada for around twenty-three dollars to $25,000, which is cheap nowadays. But it has heated seats. That's awesome. I love heated seats. No heated steering wheel. Um, I'm going to put it in sport mode and see if that makes a difference. But what I'm going to say is that one of the quirks about this car is that it has the steering wheel is offset from the seat. The steering wheel, which uh, I'll show you later, is actually to the left of where I'm sitting by about two or three inches. Now this is no problem. You get used to after a while and actually this could be a benefit. If one of your arms is longer than the other, this is a car to look into. If you have a, a longer left arm, then this car might be the car for you. Okay, so it's easy to drive. Um, it's got dead power steering. Um, it has got adequate brakes. It is a car from point A to point B. It is not something for the enthusiast. However, for a lot of people, that's all you need is a point A to B car. And this car does have a few interesting technological features. For example, it does have lane, a primitive lane departure warning system in this car. Um, it is fairly primitive, it has a camera in the front, camera in the back. Uh, it also has a backup camera, which is quite nice. Also, of course, the visibility is, it's not bad. I mean, it is a four-door sedan, so you, it's not that bad, but it's also not that good. It's got the sloping, very wide A-pillars, which a lot of cars have. You've got to go like this, sort of like an owl. Uh, when you're turning around a corner to avoid impaling a pedestrian. Okay, so as you can see, we have your very basic gauges here, but they're very clear. You have fuel on the bottom, you have your speedometer, you have your rev counter, which is quite large and nice. You have your coolant temperature on the bottom of that. You have a small screen in the center, and that gives you some information. Right now, it's fairly cold, two degrees centigrade outside. Cruising range, and that's also where you get your lane departure warnings, uh, if that's what you have on your car. You have a center screen that looks quite large, but actually it's not too big. And if you put the car into reverse, you've got a backup screen. But as you can see that, as you turn the steering wheel, the lines don't change. So, yeah. And then as you go back, let's see if they're getting any audible beeps here. Now, I'm not getting any beeping. I'm just about to hit those bushes. One other thing I found strange about this car is that it does have a sport mode, which I don't know how much of a difference that's gonna make, but it also has a B, and I looked it up, and that is for engine braking. So if you're going down a long hill, this will allow the engine to help slow the car down. Another thing I like about this car is that these are the, uh, the heating and air conditioning controls, and they have these little, little lever switches, and I like how they work. You know, sort of a 
modern little feature there. And you've got these cool little, little air conditioning vents that you can move around and have fun with. Uh, you've got to love heated seats. Ever since I've had my first car with heated seats, I always want heated seats. There's nothing better than a warm set of buns. And of course for connectivity, we have a USB, we have a 12 volt right there. So it's pretty nice. You got your cup holders and that's pretty nice. They're adjustable. So you can take this out, move it to different positions to adjust it. As for the interior, there's a lot of room in the back seat. Uh, let's look at the, uh, the leg room here in this small little four door car. It's uh, actually quite impressive and the trunk's quite large too. As for exterior styling, the side profile is definitely boring Econobox four door. I'm afraid it's just a boring looking little car on this side. On the back, again, it's nondescript, kind of yawny, oh, I like to go to sleep now type of car. But if you look at the front here, we got a little bit of aggression going on in the front here, so that's quite different, markedly different from the side and back. It's got a little bit of that predator look, doesn't it? Yeah, aggressive for sure. And the headlights appear to be HID, which is a nice little upgrade for basically a rather cheap car. Uh, for example, you don't get aluminum wheels, you get steel wheels, disc brakes in front. And what the heck? drum brakes in the back. How many modern cars still have drum brakes in the back? So this car is a strange mixture of a few modern features. Uh, you know, lane departure warning, there you can see the camera right up there in the center of the windshield. You have modern features, lane departure warning, heated seats, quite nice. And then a few of these old school things like drum brakes in the rear. Yeah, it's a strange little car. But how fast is a Corolla. Let's find out. And let's uh, let's give a few revs for the enthusiasts. Now to do the zero to 60 test, I have my little draggy, which I'm gonna fit right in this little spot, wedge it in so it's firmly put in. And we will go to my app and turn that on. And we will connect. We are connected, ready to do our zero to 60. So we'll just mount it up here in a windshield and we'll be able to get a video of the zero to 60 using my smartphone. Okay. Okay, 060 in a Corolla LE 2019. And let's go. I've got her in sport. Do a little bit of loading up of the torque converter, actually, the CVT. And we go. And let's go, go. Oh, there's a surge. Yes. Yes. slow but then it starts to build up some speed quite nice okay as you can see there are our different specs now I'm sure you already saw this on the draggy video but it uh, did the half mile in 40 seconds it did a quarter mile in 18.1 seconds it did the eighth mile in 11.2 and the 0 to 60 which is what we're really interested in is 9.8 seconds so that's not quick. It felt fairly quick, but no, that's not too quick. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick little review of the 2019 Corolla LE. It's a nice little car. It's an economy car. It's got a few nice features that sort of bring it above the level of just the bare bones. I'd say it's a good choice, especially at the price point of probably around up here in Canada, around 25,000. 
it is not fast as I proved. It has a feeling that it's not too slow, but it actually it's not that fast. The best thing about this car is it's got heated seats. My is warm. Thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time. Do you like this car? Kind of. <laughs>